Hey babes, it's Mark. Today in this video, I am going to be transforming Ben, this 18 year old boy into Bellarome. He's drag persona. I'm so excited to be a part of this process and give birth to Bella Rome. And we went out to Manchester after, we had a really good time. I hope that you enjoy the video. and Ben. As you can see, Ben is clearly feeling himself. He's a bit of a looker. He's a poser who was clearly feeling himself throughout the whole video and like feeling his oats. He was feeling his oats. So what I'm doing is basically covering the eyebrows with Pritt stick and then combing them upwards. I'm also going to be covering up the sideburns. Um, but I'm going to be doing a few layers of this because as you can see, Ben's eyebrows are... Um, they are no joke. They are no joke. So I'm going to be using a baby wipe and removing the excess on the outside perimeters where we've covered the eyebrows. And what I'm going to do now is use some S1 powder and flatten and set what we just covered so that we've got a good canvas for that. And what I'm gonna do now is use Kryolan TV Paint Stick in 2W. This is a pretty pale shade, but now Ben is pretty pale. So what I'm gonna be using for the highlight is a clown white, just because he is quite pale in that way, but we want to apply this foundation all the way on his face, all the way down his neck, so that we've got a good canvas to work off of. And I'm using a Real Techniques um, blending sponge, dry. You wanna use it dry because we don't wanna lose any of the coverage that we have popped onto the face. I could have blended a little bit more in the jawline, but I'm gonna blend that later on. What I'm gonna be using is actually a contour powder and just etching out the eyebrow shape that I want. And I can be quite messy with this. We were going for like a Naomi Smalls, Valentina moment, really, really extended, but with the drawn on eyebrow shape. So, I am just drawing an elongated, quite straight looking brow. We don't want it to look too arched because we're going for quite a millennial drag, 2018, you know, very Instagram kind of looking that way. What I'm using is a bit of clown white and I'm going to be etching out the eyebrows to clean them up. We want them to look sharp and they're fine. And this is the way to do it because we made a mess before you know, doing this is gonna make it look super, super crisp. I'm just using a small foundation brush and some of the clown white, I'm gonna etch out his cheekbones. I'm not going to be cream contouring, just cream highlighting. You know, a little bit of reverse contour. So I'm doing that under the cheek. I'm doing the nose and the forehead. I'm going to be doing like a raven tip nose with an exclamation point and drawing a triangle on his chin. Right against the nose contour that we're gonna put on, I'm putting on the clown white and extending that under his eyes and onto the tops of his cheekbones. You, you can see I'm going right close to the eye and right close to the nose because we want to we want to whittle that down, tiny, tiny. So here you go, Ben's posing again, um, and I'm just gonna be blending that with my sponge. I love doing this makeup, honestly it was so much fun. We actually did a trial makeup beforehand. Um, I'm just setting the face right now, I'm beating this mug with Airspun powder. This is another drag staple, Airspun powder, I got this in New York, um, but yeah, I'm heavily powdering. I had, a, had so much fun doing this makeup, we did it twice because once was a practice and one was the actual night when we went out. So oh, here we go, here we go again, Ben is just loving the camera. Um, and I don't blame him. Um, so I'm using a dark contour from Revolution. This is a contour palette. So it's pretty great because you've got your contour shades and your highlight shades. And I'm going on the natural, um, the usual places like the temples, the cheekbones, and also the jawline. I'm going to be whittling that jawline down because he has quite a square jaw. And right now I'm doing a heavy nose contour because I like to create a really, really defined shape first 
So I'm kind of drawing like a V. You can see, super, super, super skinny, but super dark. Now, since it is super dark, I am going to be using some airspun powder, just because we don't want it to look too extra. We don't want it to be too there. We want it to look blended. So I'm using some airspun to just pop that through. And what I'm going to be doing now is using a dark brown eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think this was called Burnt Umber or something. And I'm just etching out the crease, the new crease that we want. Now I'm going to be using Red Sea from the Certified Palette. And Ben likes reds. As much as this is my drag look and my video in that way, I wanted him to obviously have a say in what was going to happen with the makeup because it's his look, it's his drag persona and I'm using the oranges, the yellows as well, blending that all the way up. And you want, you want to use a, a few different blending brushes and obviously going back and forth to get that blended look. And what I'm doing now is using my favorite base. This is the P. Louise eyeshadow palette. No, eyeshadow palette, um, eyeshadow base. And I'm going to be etching out the new lid because we want to create that cut crisp, they're fine, drag, eyelid, clock my nails, do you like my nails? I just like to keep them clear to be honest and right now I'm using some Stargazer Copper Glitter with my Barry and Glitter Glue and I told him to like tip his head up so that um, none of the glitter falls out. i done his liner, not too thin, not too thick and I'm doing a double winged eyeliner look as you can see and I'm extending that to the lower lash. Here we go again. Here we go again. You just got a wink from Ben. <laughs> There's, uh, this is uh, Ben now Clown White again onto the waterline. And what I'm doing is using the eyeshadows that we used on top and using it on the bottom as well so that it's all cohesive. And I'm doing an inner corner wing, as you can see. But I extend that to the lower lash line as well. I could have covered that sideburn a little bit better, but we were a little bit um, short for time. Let's just say that when we were filming this. I'm using some mascara. By the way, Ben has sick lashes. Like his lashes, his boy lashes are so long. Like I've never seen anything like it, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't know what Ben was lip syncing, but she was clearly feeling herself, Bella was feeling herself, and she's lip syncing to some good beats. So, you know, she's getting ready. I'm just brushing out the air sponge, so brushing out all the fall down that we may have had from the eyeshadow. I'm blending that through. Uh, I applied some 301, customized 301 lashes. I think it was about four or five pairs of lashes because you know, we want to look extra. And I'm gluing on some rhinestone. This is very, very Aja, very pheromone, um, very millennial, because we're going for that millennial drag look. And after that, I'm using some orange blush, the queen of orange blush, and she looks gorgeous in it, is Tatiana. So, you know, you want to make good choices. And right now I'm using my Barry M highlighter, which looks sick. Look how sickening this glow is like look at ben looking at his highlight like it looks sick it looks so good it looks so good under the lights and i'm gonna tell you a little story we actually met bianca del rio as roy his boy self and he said to me you know um you know you did a really good job and that uh, keep doing what you're doing which was so nice and was so lovely um i really really appreciate that what I'm doing right now is using some Barry M lip liner and drawing his new lip shape. I overdrew them slightly and extended them a little bit. And since Naomi uses Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks, I wanted to use Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks on Bella as well because she wanted that sort of Naomi Valentina sort of look in that way. Like super fish but still drag in that way. So I'm applying a brown one onto the corners of where I put the lip line and I'm using a lighter one from the summer collection a lighter nude right into the center and you can see 
he had a little bit on his teeth. But I told her to, um, <laughs> I told her to get rid of that after. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, sis. And what I'm using is a MAC 252 brush just to um, blend that all in. I like to use a brush to blend my liquid lipsticks in. Yes, we are getting there. We are getting so close to get up in this geesh. <laughs> what I'm doing now is using a black liner, the one that we use for the eyeliner actually, and I'm etching out the um, outside of the brows because I want it to fade in and out from darker to lighter. And as you can see, I already um, drew on the little hairs at the front. And I'm using a little eyeshadow just to blend that through. Yep, putting his earrings and then we're done. She is here. Do you love it? I kind of love it. I'm really, really proud of it. Even though we had a little bit of a time crunch, we I think we killed it. And I'm so, so excited for Bella Rome and to see her growth. And I'm excited to see what she does. And I hope that you enjoyed the video, you guys. Love you. Bye.